Guys, what's up? What's up? <laughs> Sorry. Continue. Space mom. <laughs> I'm like a dog stick. Like a pop. I'm joking. I uh, am not. Oh, oh boy. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, as you might be able to tell, doing another challenge in this time it's because last time, uh, he's a wimp. He's a wimp. I'm a he's wimp. He's scared of the dark, so I'm trying to cheer him up. Then afterwards, going to do the darkest challenge. No! <laughs> <laughs> he hates me alone. <laughs> I swear, I'm going to do it, okay? Fine. I'm going to do it with you. Not right now, I'm joking. Um, I'm going to do it by myself, and then you're going to do it, okay? Okay. No, I don't like that idea. Okay, we're doing the, the this one to cheer us up. Okay, let's go. Let's observe the effect of Evian on your body. <laughs> <laughs> oh, he's both failed. <laughs> okay, let's it's redo funny that. Video. Yeah, let's just try. I didn't even know that was a video. Yeah, I thought that was the commercial. Let's try that again. Yeah, I did too. Um, guys, we're gonna now actually do the challenge. Let's observe the effect of Evian on your body. Dude, if I had a child like that, I'd be like, what the hell is that the kid in my making? Look at the black kid, that's racist. A black kid is racist. Many black kids are racist. Um, um, look at that creepy baby. Oh my god. Don't laugh, John. Don't laugh! It's funny videos, we can laugh. Ready, set, go! Presley, go! Oh, God. This is worth it, Fuka. Oh. What? <laughs> <laughs> 
<laughs> we both did. Hi. Okay. Until one person gets out. I farted. That's not funny. Look. It's just proving this. It's just proving this guy sucks. Oh, I was so hoping he would hit him. These guys lose. We had to do something that's actually funny. this movie I believe it I've literally never in my life seen someone killed with a frisbee but I believe it would go down that way but am I crazy or why didn't he just use the pistol that was in his bag but then again I mean how could one possibly avoid a killer frisbee oh I don't know maybe by stepping out of the way aha and I especially love that he murdered a man and then proceeds to fist pump with absolutely no shame and of course my favorite line is probably this one got a great ass 
You know, it was at that point that I thought a porno was about to break out. And is it just me, or does every bathing suit in the 80s give women a big square ass? I mean, look at that. That bikini looks like your great-grandmama's underwear. Anyway, this clip got over a million views, which means Hollywood's probably about to reboot the franchise in 3D. Starring Nicolas Cage. So there's this place called North Dakota. No, I mean, it really exists. I, I had to look it up, but it's real. So there's a small town in North Dakota, and this guy, Jacob, discovered something interesting about the tap water there. Hey, what's up? Mm. My name's Jake. I work in the oil fields out in North Dakota, and just found something out about our tap water that we bathe in and use to brush our teeth and shit. And uh, it's pretty weird. Uh, you let me know what you think. I wish I could show you guys this. The tap water. Now, the interesting thing is, this video is there are a lot of explanations as to the possible causes of flammable water. Some are saying it's from natural gases in the water. Some are saying it's from a terrible process called fracking. Some are saying it's from methane. So you're possibly drinking methane gas. If you, you would be drinking fart water. Me personally, I like to mix vodka in my fart water. Now, I'm a conspiracy theorist, so here's what I think. I think it started with Obama being reelected and supporting the oil company's agenda and assisting the terrorists who were funding the lizard people who were in collaboration with the guy from Duck Dynasty who triggered Chewbacca, who originally founded the Illuminati, which is actually run by the people of South Dakota because South Dakota wants to poison North Dakota and be the only Dakota. Yeah, that's what I'm going with. Do your fucking research every once in a while. Either way, it's a fascinating video clocking what? in at over a million views, and frankly, there's no way to really tell what's in that water without testing the chemical properties of it. So this final video is by far my favorite. Now this is supposedly a news report about a missing woman. Now keep in mind that the cameras are not supposed to be rolling right now, and the reporter is talking about the missing woman. Oh, I don't care if she's 20. Hell, I'd fuck her. You can't say you would fuck her. Maybe that's what I'll do when they find her. I'll, I'll go and fuck her. Fuck her right in her pussy. All right, well, we definitely apologize for that editing error. That is probably the funniest thing I've ever seen in my life. In no way, shape, or form is that an editing error. And you know, I don't fault the guy, because I do the same thing when the cameras aren't rolling. Yeah, I mean, I totally haunt my audience. All of them. Right in the butt. It'd be great, you know? Is that gay? And I especially like the fact that he's so specific about where he'd like to fuck her. Fuck her right in the pussy. That's good. I mean, where else would you fuck her? Right in the eyeball. Right in the big square ass. And by the way, nothing is better than how shocked that reporter is. So the funniest part of this video is not that he wants to have sex with this girl who's missing and presumably dead, but that it's fake. Now, actually, it's only half fake. The part where the guy is saying he wants to fuck the missing girl is completely fake. The reporter's reaction actually isn't fake. It's cut from another video, a different video, of her reacting to a reporter screwing up. Drive and we're fighting the brain condition. Me. I can't even fucking talk. Alright, well, we definitely apologize for that editing error. Yeah, I know. That's not nearly as shocking and as good as the fake video, but no, that's it. That's oh the real one. And for your information, the missing woman, Jenna Chisholm, has actually you since are. been found at a casino. So she is no I longer missing. Free to fuck whoever she wants. Right in her. You know. Anyway, that's uh, going to be all my time, guys. Thanks for watching today's episode of Equals 3. Check out the full videos. Turn Links are down below in the description. Okay. I'm Ray William yeah, Johnson. You watch this video, not and I'm laugh. Is that a reaction to something, Joe? You're a badass. How come nobody knows how to clean off their chest after they've had a shit? Oh, that video. You know we're going to keep on going. Why are you so good? Because you're going to fuck her. Gonna make sure this is easy. We're gonna watch until we get to. I'm not gonna lie. I don't really watch flat. sports. That don't make me a homosexual. So shut up. Now I've said it before. Sports are not really my thing. But I found this video with a half million views of this hockey game where the puck flies up and into the back of the goalie's pants. <laughs> I'll watch it again in slow motion. Watch this. Watch this. The puck's going to drop right here. And he'll try and score it. It falls right in the back oh of his pants. Lord. And watch this. Oh now God. keep in mind that these two teams are tied in overtime, so this goal is really important. After review of the play, the puck did cross the line. We have a good call. Now here's where it gets interesting. I was reading, because I do that sometimes, that there's a rule in hockey.
hockey that as soon as the ref loses sight of the puck, he must stop the game, which he didn't do. Which has got hockey fans up in arms like, ow, oh, what's all that about? You know, now that I think about it, this feels like something that would happen in a Will Ferrell comedy movie. Something that you'd watch it and you'd laugh and then you'd go, man, that's bullshit. That would never happen in real hockey. Okay, well, I see how much time is in the video. Oh, crap. It's been 15 minutes, guys. I'm so it's been 15 minutes of shits and giggles, and bye guys.